Hello and welcome. This is Ava with HeyYoAva.com and the Kinda Cash Flow Podcast. And what I'm going to show you today is how to record podcast guests free using OBS. So OBS is this piece of software right here. And how it works is, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, first of all, it's free. So there'll be a link to that down in the description. Um, I use both this as well as the Streamlabs version, which is what I'm actually recording on right now. Now, the reason that I use regular OBS when I'm doing my just my audio recording is because uh, my the Streamlabs version won't pick up my desktop audio for some reason, and that is a must for what I'm about to show you. So. I'm just going to maximize this. I'm sorry for like the the screen thing. I'm just going to show you how to configure this so you can record both your microphone as well as your desktop audio. So I'm just going to click over to the scenes here and I have one that I've already set up but the first thing you have to do is you have to set up a scene which is what you see right here and then you have to set up the sources that you want that scene to record from your machine. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You click the plus sign here under scenes and that's how you add a new scene. You name it. I'm just going to name mine test because I'm going to remove it once this video is complete. So enter a name that's something, you know, like you can see here that I have mine audio recording only, screen share only recording. You know, so I can differentiate from things like live streaming, etc. So you kind of get the idea. Click OK. Now, my screen here is blank until I add in some sources. So in order to do that, I'm going to click the plus sign underneath here. And there's all kinds of things that you can add here. You can add display captures, which is your screen. Like this is a great piece of software. If you do any type of screen sharing type videos or ones where you're streaming your screen, but you want to appear in the down in the corner or whatever, um, with a video of yourself this is a great free piece of software to accomplish that it looks super pro there's all kinds of documentation on it it does all kinds of things you can switch between scenes so if you want to have like a splash screen that says hey i'll be right back that kind of, i mean it does all that as well as the Streamlabs version so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a link to both those down in the description for you moving on so we want to add some audio uh, audio um, sources here not so the first thing I need to add is an audio input which is going to be my microphone which is already in here uh, as a default so you click add existing and then you click actually on the device to highlight it click OK and you'll see that it's added here under sources the other source that I need to add is an output output capture uh, which is my desktop audio. So that's going to be everything going through the sound card on my computer. So I'm going to add existing and I'm going to select desktop audio. Click OK. Now that's the only two things that I need here. Um, if you want to video capture what you're doing at the same time, you can add a display capture, a window capture, whatever it is that you want to capture. You can just kind of play with this and see how it works. But we're just going to focus on the audio for now. So I have my scene set up. Now I need to worry about how it's going to be recorded. What's the output going to be? So I'm going to go under settings over here in the lower right corner. And I'm going to open up the output. Audio bit rate is 192. So I can always make it a higher quality as well. When 192 is really good. I think like 96 or 72 or something like CD quality. So 192. Uh, kilobytes per second is super super good okay so let's see um, I have it set as a MKV because if you notice there's this note here this is your strong streaming audio bit rate will be set to 160 but like if you say hey I want to record it as an mp4 because hey that's something that I can easily convert uh, into an mp3 right it gives me this warning that says Recording saved to MP4 will be unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalized. 
Uh, if you want to record multiple audio tracks, consider using MKV and Remux the recording to MP4 after it's finished. So, uh, you know, that sounded pretty scary. Like, I, I wouldn't want to lose my recording, so I am taking that advice. And the way you Remux the recording is through the File menu once it's completed so that's my output it lets me designate where i want it to go on my computer and that's that i click close yes i want to save the changes and i'm ready to record now with these levels here it's always easier to record lower and then level it out later rather than record in the red where where everything's at the very top of what it's able to do and it's starting to buzz and vibrate and sound bad. So it's easier to fix audio that's too low than to fix audio that's too high. So just keep that in mind. Set your levels somewhere right in between uh, in the green and in the yellow, but, but try not to max them out into the red because it'll be buzzy and sound bad. You just connect with your guest via whatever kind of um, software you use. For me, I use Google Hangouts because it's free. Now, Google Hangouts is notorious for having audio cutouts issues and like weird things happening. Um, I haven't had any problems with that recording via this method, even though like it'll sound weird while I'm on the call. Uh, it seems to record correctly. So... <clears throat> I, I just use that. You can use Skype. You can use Zoom. You can use whatever you want to and just use this as a backup recording of if your platform already records. Uh, you just record it and then in the and then once you're done recording it goes to your designated area then you're ready to edit and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So hey thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. So yeah, I just wanted to add on to this video really quick that if you need to convert your file, um, you can use this website. It's called convertio.co and you can pretty much convert any kind of file here from images, documents, ebooks, audio, video, everything. So you just select here what you're converting from and then select to what you want to convert to and upload from your computer like so. I believe they have a file size limit here. I'm not sure. It's like around 200 megabytes, I think. So if you have a problem where your file you're trying to convert is larger than that, just Google search. There's tons of, of different file converters out there. There's even ones you can download so you don't run into those limit problems. So yeah, all you need to do is convert that MKV file into a M MP4 or MP3, really, MP3 as per that warning in uh, OBS. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks again. Subscribe, click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Have a great day.